The cold can suck my ass. Hi, YouTube. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to St. Andrew TV. My name is Andrew, and you are the viewers. You read the title already. I would have to imagine it's a little bit hard to understand because if you are a knife owner, you probably have a knife sharpener, but this is something I picked up on when I was working for an Amish furniture company. Mainly, they couldn't use electricity, obviously. One of the Amish crafters actually showed me this little trick because I had a dull knife, and I was trying to cut the saran wrap off of a new bed post. And this is pretty interesting. I'd like to share it with you all today. This is kind of a, I don't want to use the word life hack. It's so bad and I'm not Buzzfeed. I'll put it this way. If you are lacking a knife sharpener in your presence, you can do this tried and true because all you need is a little bit of ceramic and you can get it done. But before we get into this, I'm gonna show you the knives I'm gonna be working with today. This is a knife that I have recently purchased and it's supposed to be a knife used at the late 18th century into the 19th century for fur trappers when you're taking the fur off the animal. That's knife number one that we're gonna work with today. Knife number two has a little more panache. This is a 12 inch fixed point blade that is quite dull. We're also gonna sharpen this with my little Amish knife sharpening trick. We're gonna start with this knife here because this is brand new. This literally came in the mail two days ago. So this has never been sharpened. So this one will take a little more time. So that's why we're gonna start with it. We'll get the hard one out of the way first. This is the ceramic trick that my Amish crafter friend showed me. Your knife sharpening kit is on the bottom of your coffee cup. Now you wanna find one with a base that has a little more grit to it. That's gonna give you more of a bite on your knife blade. This is a pretty good example. This is not a replacement for a high value knife sharpener, which will do the job in half the time and give you your desired edge that you are seeking. However, this is if you don't have the resources available to you. And this is just like a trick that you can get away with if you need to sharpen your knife on the spot. So what we're doing here is we're gonna flip this coffee cup over, get a good grasp on it. And this is the sharp end. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that knife blade and you're gonna run it right across that nice gritty part of your coffee cup. And as you're doing this, you can feel the imperfections on the blade that you need to work on. Theoretically, I shouldn't be doing this on a new knife. This should be a resharpening measure. This is just for everyday use. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't know how well you can see it's starting to take shape here on the edge that you would be using. You're starting to see it gain its desired shape and it catches a little bit more. We're gonna need to work on this rounded edge, which is the toughest part. This straight line here where it's adjacent to the back of the knife is very sharp, but the curve is gonna take you a little more time. You have to contour the blade against the uh, bottom of the coffee cup. Take your time, this is a learning experience. I'd say that looks pretty good, feels pretty good. Like I said, this isn't the ideal time to do the coffee cup trick to sharpen a knife, especially when it's brand new, right out of the box. You're not gonna get the best edge on it. So we're gonna move over to something that's been sharpened before. And this is more or less to regain your edge on your knife while you were kind of caught in a situation where you need an edge in a knife. You can, you can already hear it. This already has more catch. It's not sharp by any means, but it works all the same. Now you're not seeing how long I'm actually sitting here running the blade across the bottom of the coffee mug. It is a bit time consuming. So I'm telling you this so you don't get flustered thinking that you're not sharpening it correctly because you probably are. It's not that difficult of a concept to grasp onto. It's just a little more time consuming, but it is a nice little trick to show off. Like I told you earlier, this was a little trick that I didn't know existed until a Amish craftsman showed it to me because he said he did the same thing. In his case, he would always have his coffee mug next to him. He would have to go sharpen his knife across the street in his house, opposed to where his workshop was. So he showed me this. If he was at the end of the day, he would just run across the bottom of his coffee cup a few times and be good to go for the last two hours of his work day. I don't know how widespread that this is. I don't know how many people know about this. Today's video is basically saying that I'd like to share it with more and more people. This one came out relatively okay. 
I didn't work on it as long because the trapper's knife was more of the tutorial. And don't do this with a knife that's more of a decorative piece. These are definitely for work knives that you're intending on using because the ceramic will scratch the blade a little bit. That's about it. I hope you guys learned something today. And uh, if you have heard about this trick, please let me know it in the comments because I do not know how widespread it is. I thought it was interesting and this was something that I learned seven, eight years ago. I've used it ever since. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed as of late and I appreciate all the genuine comments that I've received on my past couple videos. Like I said about comments, I do read them all and I try to get back to all of them to be a more immersive and inclusive community. Leave a comment on this one if you've heard about this little trick or if this is new to you. Let me know that you learned something today. Today. Leave me video suggestions or just give me a friendly hello. Those are all accepted here on St. Andrew TV. However, if you come across this video and you have yet to hit the subscribe button, think about subscribing. You're a daisy if you do.